This is day 24 of our attempt to bring uh, real change to the energy issue and bring energy legislation to the floor. This is the 24th day that we've been here. Approximately 135 Republican members have been here addressing the people in the People's House. We've been coming here for 24 days now, demanding a vote on the American Energy Act. Nancy Pelosi needs to get off her book, book tour and come back here and do the people's work. The sooner we address this, the better it is for the American people. It's time that we do something. It's affecting every single American, and that demand for change is not going away. This is something that we need to have a vote on, a straight up or down vote, so the people in this country can understand how their congressperson actually feels about the energy situation. The American Energy Act encompasses everything that we need to do. And all that we, we really believe is that the House should have an opportunity to vote on that and have a debate on that. It is a very responsible package. We have to make America energy independent. This debate really boils down to really two fundamental issues. And those issues are that most countries in the world view their natural resources as assets. But there's a political class in this country that view our natural resources as potential environmental liabil liabilities. Uh, we'll be here Monday when the Democrats get back from their five-week vacation. We'll be back here to welcome them back to the People's House, where we've been sharing for the last 24 days with the people of this country about our energy needs. The quickest way that we can bring down the price of oil, both on the short and long term, is send a message to the world oil market that the United States is going to begin increasing its own domestic supply of energy. We've got to find solutions for everybody. It's all of the above. It addresses not only increasing our domestic oil supply, but alternative energy. It's an honest, straight-up front package. It deserves to come to the floor. America has been drilling for ice on Mars, yet we cannot drill for oil in America. It makes no sense. It's idiotic. It's insane. When I raise my eyes to meet the coming days, be they brighten with hope, be they dimmed with hate, or narrowed by the wisdom that comes from passion and danger, or open wide with belief. All in spite of the changes When I walk this road with my gaze cast down I've seen the sh it's starting to look like Survivor, you know? <laughs> Thank you for leaving me the island, Paul.